Hello guys, welcome to an Animal Crossing video. Um, I'm doing this because I just tried to and I kind of messed up and have to record it again, but that's okay. So we're playing New Leaf for the 3DS. I'm testing this kind of on a 3DS capture device situation I have going on. And um, it might not look great, but it should be pretty consistently like... I guess smooth is the right way. I mean, just a, it's like be consistent frame rate. Good evening, Mayor Rosa. In Mountain Dew, it's Friday, uh, March tenth, two thousand seventeen, at eleven seven. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's pretty close to the right. Um, yeah, let's go, Isabel. See so, yeah, how this is my town. Uh, my character's name is Rosa, and um, I have I guess explanations on that. I, I mean, and my town name is Mountain Dew, and uh, that might sound a little weird. <laughs> But it's actually, I don't know, I always name my Animal Crossing towns after sodas. Maybe I'm just always in the mood for a soda when I name my Animal Crossing town. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, um, so this is Rosa. She usually doesn't wear this. She usually wears not this hat. Yeah, and she usually has a bow in her hair. Yeah. And also, this is not her hair color. I have to fix that. I guess I screwed up last time, so. Right, we got a thing from the post office that's not important I don't care about that at all we shall uh, say this is my town I plan on showing this off so don't worry um, but first 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 and foremost we will fix my hair um, I love Animal Crossing to death oh yeah um, man winter smells great oh man so I think I'm moving out of town <laughs> oh man it's so sad yeah sorry Birdo Beardo yeah, no, you should, you should go. Uh, uh, I kind of already saw this dialogue. <laughs> it's funny how that happens, because uh, you'll have the same, the same thing basically happens regardless. Um, so yeah, this is my town. I've, uh, I've been playing this game since it launched, which I think it says on my card. My card thing, where is it? Yeah, uh, June 9th, 2013, this game came out. And that is uh, probably day one this game came out. Because I've been playing this since then. Same town, same character. Um, I've been on and off playing it, obviously. I don't play it like every day. I have not played it in probably a month. Um, but it's nice because uh, they added a lot of t uh, tweaks and stuff to basically make it so it's okay if you take breaks. Um, there's a lot of ways to keep villagers. There's a lot of ways to uh, keep your town looking okay. But here's Harriet. She's in charge of Shampoodle. Hi there, sugar. Welcome to Shampoodle. Yeah. Thank you, Harriet. I love Harriet so much. She's the best dog mom in the game. Now then, what can I do for you today? Let's do a hairstyle. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna have, I'm gonna have barely enough money after this is done. <laughs> Uh, 
basically retired in this game and now lives on the island where he hangs out. <clears throat> if you couldn't tell by now, Animal Crossing is an extremely, extremely peaceful game. It's probably one of the most cathartic video games ever made, and it's just, it's amazing. It's so wonderful. Um, if you've never played this game and it, you know, you like this kind of relaxing stuff, it's, it's perfect. If you're interested in this video because it's ASMR, um, then this game is for you because, man, this game is the most relaxing and, I don't know, just therapeutic thing in the world. I can't describe it any other way. Um, this is Able Sisters. We're not going to check these just because I don't really have an interest to. Uh, the Able Sisters is where you can buy uh, clothing. Um, the, uh, a the actual uh, freaking Sable and Mabel, uh, they sell shirts and stuff in there. I think it's their sister sells um, hats. There's not really there. I, I know there's not anything there because I already checked, but I can check again. I'll just do it. I'll just get a quick run through. Just to show you what it looks like. Hi Rosa, welcome. Thank you. Usually there's there's some things I like here, but uh, so far nothing. Um, I don't really have an interest in any of this. If anything, I already own some of that. I think. If anything, I think that mask I own. I like the mask. It's kind of cool. Mabel, welcome. And they sell a bunch of stuff. Um, you can talk to her. She's really shy, but after you get to know her, she's very friendly. It's cute. I remember, I thought it took a long time for that to happen, but it doesn't take long at all. I was, like, playing uh, Wild World, which is the DS version of this game. Like, the older one. And, uh, it only takes, like, I think, like, six days, consecutive days of talking to her to really get her to, like, loosen up. And you start learning things about her, but it's really not that, not that crazy. Here's the TNT Emporium, where they, it's, like, kind of the big convenience store. They have, a uh, furniture, and then on the top floor they have uh, Gracie's thing, which is the most expensive uh, stuff. You basically upgrade this uh, this situation. Um, it starts out as a little place, and then you slowly, the more you sell to them, and the more you buy from them, it goes up. This is the post office. Nook's Homes is where you can upgrade your house, and you can also like change the roof color. Club 101, which I think it's supposed to be Club LOL, which is really funny. Um, is like a little comedy place where you can uh, learn emotes. It's also if it's a Saturday night, which it's not, it's a Friday night. You can um, you can listen to KK Slider. This is like a uh, what I don't know the person's name, but it's where you go to go to dream places. You can basically visit people's houses um, by going to the dream thing. <coughs> you can take your selfie picture in there or whatever. And this is the museum. I'll take a look at the museum because it, it's nice. The museum's very, very relaxing to be in. Hi. This is, uh, what's his face? Blathers, yes. Mountain Dew Museum. So you can basically dig up fossils and you can donate to them and, uh, slowly make the museum great. I don't think I have many paintings. I know I have a good amount of fish, I think. I don't know how many, but... Not all the fish. I definitely know I don't have every fish, but I might have a few. So you can change the camera. I can, you know, hang out in the aquarium. I love aquariums so much. They're so nice. Look at all those cool little crabs and sea life. Yeah, we have a bunch of fish. Let's see what they look like. Oh, a big shark there, too. How do these fish all get along? You can take a look. I, you can't see it, but you can basically look at all the fish in the bottom screen that are there. Um, like little, like, you know, descriptions of all the fish. Um, yep, a bunch. Let's see what's in this area. Oh, it's a, kind of the tinier lake fish. So these are the ones you catch in a lake. I don't have any here, do I? It doesn't look like it. Oh, hey, it's Inkwell. Hey, hey. I come here to be inspired by fish. Don't you splat? What you need? Nothing. Oh, really? So that guy's uh, actually a Splatoon reference. If you can't tell, he looks like a Splatoon squid. <laughs> I think it's so cute that they added, like, little references. You can get, like, Ganondorf and Wolf Link as characters, which is so cute. Um, no Mario characters. I was really hoping for a Yoshi villager or something. Uh, and whatever, but... It's still great. Uh, this is back. Yep, it's back at the beginning. So that's a little aquarium. I have yet to fill it entirely. I know lots of people who have basically.
basically completed the all the museum, but I am uh, very slow. Uh, this is where you can like I think I guess buy things, and you can also store things. I don't really have I never really use that. Um, but it's nice. Let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, this is the nice little nature place where you can put all the bugs. It's a little hermit crab. I don't have many bugs, I don't think. I don't think I'm bothered, really. Uh, there's like a bug on the tree there, but I really don't think I have much. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's very really lame. I just never bothered, I guess. I guess b by the time that I was like, I'd be at a point in the game where I'd want to do this, I wasn't playing as much. So, ugh, those things are gross. Is that a spider? Oh, is that the tarantula? Oh, I think it is. Uh, there's a... I, I can't believe I actually donated that. I don't remember doing that. Wait, is it actually the tarantula? Let's see. No. Where is it? Say? Say it right here. Yeah, tarantula. <laughs> it, there's a hilarious event that can happen in this game. Where basically, you'll, uh, you'll be outside and you'll, like, spot a tarantula. And it'll run at you and, like, knock you out. <laughs> But you can catch it if you take out your net fast, and you can you can catch it as it runs at you. But it's I remember when it first happened. When I first played uh, Wild World, I had no idea it was gonna happen. And when it happened, I was so freaked out. I mean, like I'm not afraid of spiders, but I was just so like, what just happened? My character just like died. <laughs> but you just kind of wake up in uh, in front of your house. It's it's really funny. Um, and the same kind of thing happens with bees, but you have to shake trees and then bees some guys come out. Oh, this is pitiful. This is the this is like the the fossil museum. This is where the like the dinosaur bones go. I don't think I have a single thing completed. I don't think I'm even gonna look at this. This is like embarrassing. I really don't do much like of the museum stuff. I should. A lot of people love this kind of gallery sort of collectible aspect. And the I don't think I have a single painting. I'm not gonna lie. I probably have the required amount of paintings to get, I know you get things for putting stuff in the museum, like you get like, uh, like either like badges or items or something, and I probably have the required amount to get those things, and that's it. I apologize if the frame rate isn't consistent, I can see it kind of dipping every once in a while, um, it, it's just the captured device is not great, the, the way I'm capturing the video is kind of less than stellar, uh, it's, it's convenient. It's actually, I'll say this much, it's through a uh, homebrew, actually, software. It's, it's pretty cool, but anyway, I'll take you around the town a little bit. So this is my town. This is Mountain Dew. I have kind of a simple road system that goes through the town. And uh, if you didn't know, actually, I think a lot of people are under the impression that there's like an in-game road system. There isn't, actually. You make roads by literally placing down patterns that you make, and you can only have a set amount of patterns. So most of my patterns are taken up by these roads. And like this corner is a piece, this wall, this side is a piece, this side, this side's a piece. It's about that size. So then I can just place down that set pattern on the ground. Yeah. See, it's extremely tedious, weirdly time-consuming. It, it's just the most like, it's the most you just you're kind of breaking the system almost. My town is also the uh, the pretty ordinance or whatever it's called, the beautiful one. So it's got lots of flowers. Um, and I like lots of flowers. I was trying to explain this before in the other recording, but it's like, I like the idea of it looking messy and not an organized messy. I like legitimately messy, but there's a beauty in messy, especially when it's messy via nature. Because, I mean, I mean, like, it, there's no consistency with the flowers. It's all random. Some weeds. Um, and the trees are kind of random, too. I made sure to kind of put random fruits everywhere. You can't really tell what my town fruit was. I don't even remember what my town fruit was. I think it was apples, because I have perfect apples around. Um, but I made sure to kind of scatter around different fruit to make my uh, my town very, like, varied, I guess you could say. Like this little walkway, it's got like orange, and then durian, and then orange, and then apple, and then durian, and then persimmon. <laughs> it's kind of random. Um, I tried to make it as random as possible. Even these bushes aren't consistently colored. I don't, I think it looks a little messy, but I like it. It looks like an actual town in some ways. I mean, I mean, like, it's not like it's not kept up, because Animal Crossing automatically keeps up things, but, you know. And I like the way the road looks. Um, so if you go over here, go down here. That was my Zelda, uh, my Zelda stump. I guess it's like rare or something, I don't know. This person moved in right on top of my walkway, thank you for that. Um, this is where a tent would be, where you can uh, basically...
basically invite village again villagers will come and camp at your uh village or your, your village wow at your town and you can um you can like ask them to hang out and become friends with them that way and they'll move into your town uh so stuff like this the bench and like uh you saw like the water spout over there and over near my house and stuff those are all public works projects which basically means you can ask isabel hey is there anything the townsfolk want in the town and the townsfolk can recommend uh certain things that can be built in the town and then you can build them in the town and they uh they're kind of a donation thing so villagers can donate um the villagers don't donate much i remember like it's kind of funny you can kind of see through the seams with that um like, they only donate up to, like, I think a thousand or something, and it's kind of up to you at that point. They're expensive. I think they're usually, like, you know, between, like, 50,000 bells and, you know, 100,000 bells to build this stuff. And if you go, this is kind of my open area, my open flower area for people to move in. But as you can see, uh, nobody's moved in in this area because everyone hates me in this town, I guess. <laughs> everyone tends to move in in the most inconvenient spots, like on top of my roads. But the, uh, the Amiibo update that came out last year actually made it so uh, villagers can't move in on roads, and they also had the ability to sit on a rock. So yeah, you can ride these babies for miles. Ah, uh, get it, the SpongeBob reference. Um, yeah, uh, this is supposed to be the area where everyone moves in, but uh, nobody moves in here. So it's just kind of this blank, big area. Uh, kind of sad, not gonna lie. But it looks nice. I like the pretty kind of just flowers everywhere look. Um, this is where you would uh, do the amiibo stuff. Uh, there's basically, actually, oh, yeah, I want to go in here. Um, basically, a random NPC will be here in a van. And uh, wow, what do you know? It's Jack. It's Jack's van. So we'll check that out in a second. But you can buy some items. This is Harvey. You guys just chills here. He's kind of a chill dude. So you can also dance in front of the fire, I think. Oops. I'm gonna try to get a good angle on this. Why am I... Yeah, there we go, I'm dancing. I don't know why this is a thing, but it's very, very cute. It's kind of dumb cute. It's like the dumbest thing in the world, but look how cute I am. Oh, Rosa, stop. Okay, uh, but yeah, you can just kind of chill here. Uh, basically, when you uh, scan an amiibo card, They'll uh, show up in the van right here, and then you can ask them to hang out, or you can steal their items or something, or you can invite them to move in, which is how I got a bunch of villagers. So this is Jack. He's a NPC that is involved with Halloween, and you can order furniture from his house. So we're actually going to order a bunch of stuff. We're going to order all the pumpkins, because I like these things, and I always forget to play the game during uh, Halloween, so I always miss out on these. Only order three, I think, so we'll just order these. Thank you, Jack. I will see these in my mailbox soon. You use, uh, I guess, like tickets, which you get from like doing weird events. They added a bunch of kind of interesting stuff to this game with the amiibo update. It's a little confusing, but it was a lot of fun when it came out. I put, I kind of got, it was kind of a resurgence of this game a little bit. I remember joining a Discord with a bunch of Animal Crossing people. It, it was a lot of fun. Um, gonna say oh yeah okay so there's a bunch of villagers in my town that i actually really like and uh well there used to be a lot of them moved out um but there's one that still is always here and she's always kind of chilling around here where is she um she's been in my town since like day one beardo can not be here i don't care about him he's not he doesn't sound familiar uh it's mallory i don't know where mallory is she usually hangs around here oh well she could be anywhere to be honest uh, Mallory has been in my town since like day one she's very sweet I love her um, but my favorite villager who has always been my favorite villager since like the first Animal Crossing game actually I think he was introduced in Wild World but still uh, is Antonio and he's not home <sighs> Antonio where'd you go um, Antonio is great and a while ago kind of after like maybe a year or two of having this game uh, he moved out. Also, you're too cute. Rosie. Wow. I don't think I've ever met her. I don't know why. Didn't you say you wanted a black flannel shirt? I did not say I wanted a black flannel shirt. Sorry. I have no use for a black flannel shirt. Um, Antonio, about a year or two into me having this game, Antonio moved out. And I was devastated. I was so sad. I even, I built this windmill 
where his house was. This is what Mill is basically where his house used to be. And, um, and it's it kind of an emotional thing. I think I have, like, screenshots or something. It was fucking it was sad. Um, but uh, soon after, or a little bit after, when the Amiibo update came out, you could scan Amiibo cards and get any villager you wanted. So I naturally got Antonio. But the thing is, in the game, villagers have a chance to move back into your town. It's, like, programmed in the game. And when they do... You know, it's the same, it's the same Antonio, he's like, oh, I'm back, lol, or whatever, and, uh, but when you do the amiibo, it's not the same script, so, it's like a whole new Antonio, so when he moved in, he was like, oh, like, nice to meet you, Rosa, and I'm like, nice to meet you, Antonio, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, crying, I was so sad, but, hey, he's back, and he loves me just as much as he did before, uh, this is my little corner, where Brewster's is, we'll go there in a little bit, um, and also this nice little Eiffel Tower. And also the town hall. And my town flag is uh, Rosa from Pokemon. <laughs> Which I guess uh, is why I named her Rosa. I don't really remember. I think it is why I named her Rosa. I like the name Rosa regardless. But um, I think it was because her name is Rosa. So me and Rosa. Rosa and Rosa. Anyway, let's go into the town hall and say hi to Isabel. Who's probably working diligently on nothing. Because there's nothing going on. I don't know why you're working so hard, Isabel. Hi, Isabel. How are you? Um, did you need something? I know it's silly, but if you wanted to talk about Mountain Dew, you'll need to talk to me over the counter. Or if you want to flex your mayor mayoral muscle, you can sit in the mayor's chair. I'm okay, Isabel. I just kind of want to know how you are. Oh, Mayor, is there something you need help today? No, nothing. All right, then. If there's anything I can assist you with in the future, please don't hesitate to ask. Isabel is literally the sweetest most, like, adorable, pure if video game character ever made. I am convinced. She's up there. She's up there with, like, actual cinnamon buns. Anyway, um, yeah, I like this little area right here. This little walkway that moves down to retail. They're, like, a reselling sort of, like, flea market people. You can also, like, redesign furniture. I've never really used them very much. Uh, they're cute characters, but I've never really taken advantage of their of their abilities, I suppose. Uh, this is gonna, this is Katarina. I don't really ever use it to talk to her. She, like, tells you your fortune, and uh, there's just some, like, little mini game with it. I don't, I don't really remember, actually. We'll check a look at my house. So this is Rosa's house. I actually like my house a lot. It's pretty simple, but I like the simplicity of it. Yay. This is my living room area. It's very, uh, it's very clean. Uh, this is my TV and my couch, where I'm watching, uh, I guess, soccer or football. And I have uh, a Wii U, where you can play a game. I think it's like a Settlers of Catan type of game. They added that with the Amiibo update. I have my computer and my walrus dolphin, I guess, thing. Maybe it's a dolphin. Maybe it's a dolphin emulator I'm running on my computer. It's a pretty good computer, then. It's where I check my emails and uh, play solitaire when I'm bored. That's my kitchen, where I have fruit always laying out. Best fruit, peaches and oranges, obviously. Actually, I don't know. Peaches are pretty good, but peaches, I wouldn't eat a peach by itself. Peach flavored things are really good. And I don't know, I wouldn't really eat, oh, I mean, I guess I would eat both, but I think orange and peaches are like my favorite flavor things. But as a fruit on its own, I think they're kind of lacking. I like strawberries a lot, and I like, um, I like pineapple a lot. I like this little corner for the kitchen. I think it's really cute. And I kind of have this like, this dining room thing. This is the amiibo lamp. This is where you can do all the amiibo stuff. Again, it's kind of confusing. Um, playing this song. Do I have any better songs? This song's kind of boring. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, what? I don't have... Oh, man. I don't have a... KK Bo... Or, yeah, KK Bosa, is it called? That song is so good. I need to get that one day. I'll, I'll uh, recommend it the next time. That, the, uh... Hanging out with KK Slider. Anyways, go in the basement. I'm actually super proud of the basement. <laughs> it took a long time, but I, like, actually got it finished. It's an arcade. It's kind of got arcade lighting due to this lamp, and made it, I couldn't really, I don't have the design room to make, like, a very arcade floor, but I found a carpet that's pretty similar. A bunch of stuff. I have the Splatoon little, like, lamp thing up there. I forgot I put that up there. Um, you know, a bunch of arcade machines gotcha little things. Some things you can interact with. It's kind of cute. 
um, you can interact with this, I think. It makes a little noise. Uh, you can interact with this. Uh, let's see, I'm guessing three. Ooh, what the heck? That's like six and a half. Okay. Um, yeah, I like this room a lot. I think it's really cute. I, uh, I worked hard on it, so <laughs> I'm kind of proud of it. And my upstairs is like my room. It's kind of a mess, but, um, you know, you know, it's okay. I keep, like, interchanging, saying Rosa and me. I kind of, I feel like I'm kind of connected to Rosa in a way, obviously, because she's my character. You can play Puzzle League on the 3DS, and it's great, because Puzzle League is so much fun, and literally they had no reason to put in Puzzle League, but they did anyway, and it really makes this game even better than it already is. I couldn't believe it. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. There's a cool couch. I have some outfits. I have my GameCube drawer and uh, Antonio's picture, a dachshund, a nurse outfit, because nurse outfits are very cute, a pink flamingo. Uh, I'll check my inventory. You basically have this kind of, this big sort of inventory you can mess with. Oops, why is being so weird? Okay, put away that. I'm going to grab this, and uh, we'll grab some money too, because I don't want to be broke. We'll grab that. Yeah, I grabbed a stack of 99,000 bells, so I think we're back on track in terms of money. Uh, but yeah, that's my house. It's very simple. I, it's not very upgraded. It's kind of like the first upgrade or whatever, but I like it. I think it is cute. Alright, I, I grabbed some items that I'm going to show off. So first of all, there's this, which is uh, just some like beans you can throw. I like how they actually interact with the water. <laughs> really cute. That's such a good attention to detail. You can just kind of keep throwing them. I guess they're for like a New Year's event or something. I don't know. I don't know the lore. Uh, let's see. We got this. Which is so cute. <laughs> it's so it's so unnecessary. It's so just... It's just... For, like... It's just supposed... It's just for charm. That's the only reason they added it. Look at this. You can, make, you can blow bubbles. There's no practical practicality to this. It's just cute and fun. Yeah, you can have a bunch of different things. Look at my mat. It matches. It matches me. How cute. Hey, Rosie. How you doing? You can sit by this tree and uh, see the credits of the game if you sit at the tree. I'm not going to do that, though, because it's uh, kind of a commitment. What else do I have to show off? Oh, yeah. I was going to go to Brewster's to end the video. Uh, but, yeah, that's my town, basically. Um, it's nice and chill and relaxing, and I have had a lot of fun with this game over the years. It's probably one of my all-time favorite games nowadays, because, you know, I just I spend so much time playing it, and it's, just, it's like, I hate being, like, all kind of, you know, uh, <gasps> oh my god, Antonio, <laughs> you're here. <laughs> okay, okay, um, this is perfect. Okay, um, but yeah, this game is seriously so great. It's so cathartic. It's, like, so wonderful. It's, it's really great. If you enjoy, like, relaxing experiences, please play Animal Crossing. I can't, I can't, can't recommend it enough. I really can't. Yeah, I'll take a coffee. I'm on a date with Antonio. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is my, this is Antonio. This is my best friend. I recommend you drink it before it cools. All right, thanks. Yes, yeah, drink it piping hot. Just how I like it. Ah. The scent and flavor of this coffee is filling every cell in my body. Thank you, Brewster. That was very tasty. And kind of cheap, so I appreciate it. Cool. Thank you. What's up, Antonio? Yeah. If we drink the same thing at the same time, we'll be coffee bros, right? Oh my god. <laughs> right, lady bro? Yep, you're right, Antonio. That is too freaking cute. I like it when there's just a little bit of milk in my coffee. That's how fancy coffee lovers enjoy their drink, I think. I do too, Antonio. I don't even drink coffee. Hey, you. Do you remember when we first started drinking coffee? When was that? When you first, oh, when you first started drinking coffee? Uh, just recently, I guess. Oh, just recent? Uh, good, good. To be honest, I could only have a coffee in candy form until recently, honk. <laughs> <laughs> That's too cute. You're a great Antonio. But yeah, I guess uh, I guess that's it. I just kind of wanted to show off my town, do a little, do a little kind of test ASMR thingy. 
Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, your old Maker Rosa say bye. Yeah. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys around. <laughs>